All right, so this was an interesting dilemma that someone had in the community. Um, they were doing software training, and on some of the software screens, it required right clicking. And when you right clicked, it would display a menu or display some other information. Uh, it works fine when you're on a desktop or laptop and using a mouse. Uh, but what happens when you're on a mobile device like a tablet or a smartphone? and uh, you don't have a mouse, so you don't have that notion of right clicking. So I came up with the two ideas that might work in that circumstance. And again, like any tutorial, there's probably you know two or three different ways to approach this. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of ideas. Uh, so the first idea is I'm going to acknowledge that you're on a mobile device, so I'm not expecting you to right click. So uh, if you tell me you're on a mobile device, I'm going to let you get away with just pressing. Uh, if you're on a desktop, you have to right click. So uh, what we have here is our start screen. Uh, what I created for this particular example is we have a, a variable and it's a true false variable. And what we're going to do is um, we want to know if you're on a mobile or not. So that's the first thing we want to collect. If you're not on a mobile, you're just going to have the experience just like you would if you were um, uh, doing it normally. You have the mouse, you can right click. If you're on a mobile device, we're going to give you different feedback. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So let's preview this scene and I'll talk through what happens. So you can see we're going to explain the interaction rather than actually make you right click. So we're tracking if you're on a mobile device or not. So are you on a mobile device? It's equal to false. When I'm on a computer, I click on it. It acknowledges, hey, Great. Let's get started. And I go through it. If I click on it with my mouse button, my left mouse button, I get an error message. If I click on it with my right mouse button, then I'm doing what I need to do. Hey, great job. And you're able to uh, continue through there. Now, if I'm on a mobile device, it's going to be different. So you can see I have this mobile device variable. So when I click on this, I'm changing the variable to true. So now that I know that you're on a mobile device, I can change the feedback I give you. So we're going to say, hey, great job. You know, sometimes there's going to be times where you actually have to right click. Because you're on a mobile device, you can't. Uh, so you just need to press wherever and then we'll let you know. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, in this case, because mobile is set to true, when I go to press here, I know I need to press here. I know I need to right click, but I'm on a tablet, so I can't right click. So I'm going to press. And because we know you're on a mobile device, uh, we can give you specific feedback. And we can say, hey, great job, but normally you would right click. But you're on a mobile device, so we're just telling you, right? So that's uh, one way to do that. Now, if I actually want them to demonstrate that they know they need to click on a, mou a mouse. We could actually create um, a mouse button or mouse option so they would need to select the right click and then press. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So that's the second option here. So if we come to this scene, oops, we come to this second scene here. Let's preview this scene and let's look at how this works. Now in this particular scene, the way it works, is you actually have to engage uh, a mouse and right click on the mouse and then make your action on the screen. So in this case, we're on a laptop computer. You can see it's false. We click and we're going to get started and it's going to work exactly the way you want it to. When I left click, I'm getting errors. Uh, when I right click, I get my message. So I can use my mouse. Everything works fine. Let's go backwards. Now what if I'm on a mobile device? Click on mobile. And we're telling you you're on a mobile device. You don't have a mouse input. So you're going to see this icon. And whenever you need to do a right click, press the icon and you can see it engages uh, the mouse, right? And then we're going to hit Get Started. Now you can see I've got the mouse available to me. I know I need to right click. If I press on it, it's giving me the message. If I need to right click, I select this. This acknowledges that I'm right clicking. And you can see I have a variable up here that's tracking if you right click or not. See? Um, so the variable changes. So I'm right clicking. And because this is set to true, I can now show the feedback you would get with a right click. If I set it to false here and I click, it's going to give me the error message. So I have to engage the mouse click. So that I'm demonstrating I know that. 
and then I can click on here to get the feedback. So let's just look at how these were built. It's actually pretty simple. So the first one, just using instructions, uh, all we really need to do is determine are you on a mobile device or not. So we have a variable that says on mobile, it's true or false. So we just need to set it. So when you're on the slide, if you click this, it's just going through the regular process. If you click mobile, uh, you can see we have a variable that says set mobile equal to true, and then it's going to go to the mobile layer. So the computer layer just acknowledges you got to get started. Mobile layer gives you a little bit of extra information. Click get started. Then you're going to come to the slide. Now when you're oops, now when you're on the slide, here's our hotspot for clicking. For the computer, I have to show layer right click right here when the user um, right clicks on their mouse. Now if they're on a mobile device, I need to show layer mobile right click. So I'm going to acknowledge this information. But I'm only going to show that if on mobile is equal to true. So you can press on this hotspot. If you're pressing on it incorrectly, you're going to get the error message, which I have right here. Uh, and you're only going to get that if on mobile is equal to false. That means you're not on mobile, so you're going to get the error message. Uh, and if you're not on mobile and you right click, you're going to get the right click layer. Now if you're on mobile, the variable is going to change, so it's going to be true. So we're going to show the mobile right click. So we're going to give you specific feedback here for mobile. Uh, but we're only doing that if that variable is equal to true. So if you tell us you're on mobile, then we're going to show you this layer. And you don't get the error message because you're only going to get the error message if you're not on mobile because this is set to false. So pretty straightforward. You just have one variable that's tracking are you on mobile or not, and then you can use that information. Because again, working with variables, it's always create your variable. In this case, it's the true-false variable we created. Then you have a trigger to adjust the variable. In this case, we're choosing to determine if we're on mobile or not. So we're letting the, the uh, course know. And then once I have that information, I can set a trigger to do something. In this case, I can give uh, uh, custom feedback based on that variable and that value. Now the second scene is a little bit more complicated, not that much more. It's basically the same setup. The only difference is uh, we created a mouse click button. So again, I need to know if you clicked on the mouse or not. So I, I just created a variable, a right click variable. So if we uh, come up here, we've got our on mobile variable and we've got a right click variable. So basically when you click on this mouse, it's going to change the variable to true or false. So are you right clicking or not? And then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, and, and we're going to show feedback based on uh, the right click being activated. So if I click on, if I'm on a desktop, I'm never going to see this. I can click on this, I get an error message. If I right click, I'm going to get my right click message. Right? If I'm on mobile, which we track, if I'm on mobile, then I'm going to show this here. So you can see it's by default, if we look at it, it's hidden down here. Um, we're going to change the state of the, this mouse to normal uh, when on mobile is equal to true. So if you're on if you're on mobile, then you're going to see this mouse icon, and the mouse icon has a selected and uh, normal state, right? So you can toggle back and forth. So you can establish that you're right clicking, and then when you right click, we're going to set the right click variable equal to true when it's selected. And when it's not selected, we're going to set it to false. So you're toggling between true and false based on clicking on that button. And if this is set to true and I press on this, then it's going to give me the, um, the right click information. If it's set to false and I press on it, it's going to give me the wrong click. And we can see that here. So we can say show layer wrong click when the user clicks show layer right click when the user clicks and show layer right click when the user clicks if right click is equal to true. So they're always going to get the wrong when they press on it, um, whether they're mobile or on desktop laptop. And they're always going to get the right if they right click with a mouse. If they're on mobile, uh, they're, the only way they can get the right 
is if they engage the right click on this icon and then that'll set this to true and that'll be like they actually right click on a mouse. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, pretty neat ideas, right? Um, there's again, there's probably other ways to do that. But you know, if you're working with mobile, you've always got to think about how the user's interacting with the screen. And when you have things like hover effects, those don't really work on mobile. Uh, if you have right clicking, that doesn't really work. So you kind of have to simulate that. So you either acknowledge it and explain it to the person, or you could do something like this where they kind of have to simulate that they're clicking on a mouse and then doing something. Uh, hopefully you can use this information.